In this video, I am going to discuss about abstract classes and interfaces. So let's look at what are the topics I will cover under this discussion. Let me bring up my one note. So I am going to talk about what is abstraction, what is abstract class, what is an interface. Then I will talk about what is difference between abstract class and interface and when to use abstract class and when to use an interface. Now you can find the code for this video from the following link here. This link which you see here. So you can find this link and any other necessary link that I am going to use in this video in the comment section below the video. So having said that let's get started. So let's look at abstraction. Now in order to understand abstraction let's look at this definition here and then I'll take it up with an example. So abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionality to the user. So what does it mean? Let me explain with an example to you. So as, as the definition says it's process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionality to the user. So let's say I implement a functionality called start bike. Now if I'm trying to start a bike I just have to switch on the bike by pressing a button or turning the key for example. I don't have to worry internally how it works whether how the fuel injection is taking place and other things I do not have to worry about. All I need to do is I just have to start my bike. And the underlying implementation details are hidden from the end user who is using the bike or let's take another example so for example uh, i want to switch on a fan for example let's say now i just have to press the button either on or off depending upon its current state now when i'm doing that i do not have to worry about how the electricity is getting transmitted and how, what are the underlying details when i'm switching on a fan all I have to do is press the button and the fan will start. So basically the, the concept which I am trying to explain here is that abstraction let you focus on what the object does. So basically in this case it is either starting of a bike or switching on of a fan. So we are focusing more on what the object is doing rather than how, how it is doing. So uh, this is none of our concern in case of when we are trying to make uh, use of abstraction concept but we, we focus mo mostly on what the object can do. So maybe start a bike or maybe switch on a fan. Now let's see how we can achieve abstraction. There are two ways to achieve abstraction in Java. One is by creating abstract class which is 0 to 100 percent abstract. I'll talk more of this in some time and then we have interface which is 100% abstract. So uh, now, now let's go and uh, start doing some coding to understand these concepts uh, in a better way. So let me again go back to my one note and let's start. So we have had a discussion regarding abstraction. So let's get started with what is an abstract class. Now before we start with the discussion of abstract class, let's ask Google what is the meaning of the word called abstract. So, okay, so I'll bring up my browser here and I will ask Google word is meaning of abstract and I hit enter. So it brings up a definition which says existing in, existing in thought or an idea but not having a physical or concrete existence. So this, this last uh, part is important not having a physical or concrete existence so now let me explain this with an example to you with reference to java so in order to do that let me bring up my eclipse let me close the existing files which i have so i will create a file here in the com c2t oops package i'll right click and create a new file and i'm going to call it a B S T R A C T C O N C E P T S. Okay, now uh, let's create a class and I'm going to call that class as class shape.
Now there are a couple of ways how we can make a class as abstract class but before I do that let me uh, define a main method here in my abstract concepts class. Okay now let me come back uh, to this definition it says abstract is something which which does not have a concrete existence or a physical existence. So to begin with uh, let me take this as a normal class which is currently not abstract. Now if a class is not abstract it is called as a concrete class. A concrete class in Java is a class for which I can create an instance. So for example I can take I can take shape and say shape s equal to new of shape. Now this is perfectly fine. Why? Because this is a normal class. When I say normal class, I mean that it is not an abstract class. So in the world of Java programming, it is also known as concrete class. And if a class is concrete, you can go ahead and create the instance of that particular class. Now let me make this class abstract. How can I make a class abstract? By adding a keyword abstract here. So I'll say a b s t r a c t. Now this is a keyword in Java. Now as soon as I created the class as an abstract class, you will see that at line number 18 I have started getting some error. Let me hover my mouse on the eclipse and see what is the error. It says cannot instantiate the type shape. Why? Because now it is an abstract class and therefore as per this definition here, an abstract class does not have a physical or a concrete existence meaning that we cannot create instance of an abstract class. So let me go ahead and remove this line here, line number 18 because we already cannot create a uh, instance of an abstract class as you have already seen. Now this is one way wherein how you can create an abstract class simply by adding the keyword abstract and that's it. Abstract class is created. Now let me go and remove this particular keyword here and I'm also going to put a method here which I'll say public void display and here I will say sys out of for example display I'm not doing anything fancy here just a simple method now now if I have a method display here the content which goes inside this method is known as the body of the method. So this is a, a simple method in class shape. Now let me also create one more method. I'll say public void. I'll call it a draw for example. Now in this case I will put a semicolon here. Now semicolon means that this is a method without a body. I mean nothing uh, nothing goes inside uh, braces or there are no braces at all here. Curly braces and the method is terminated with a semicolon. So such kind of a method is a method which is not having any body. Now when I do this it starts to give me an error as you will see compile time error at line number 17. Let me go to that line. So it says this method requires a body instead of a semicolon. So either you remove this and put a br a braces or a body in this method but that is not what we want to do. So let me ahead uh, again go ahead and undo the changes. So I will again put a semicolon here. Now since this method is not having a body, I can make this method as abstract method in order to eliminate this compile time error. So let me make it abstract a b s t r a c t and you will see that it is still having a compile time error but th this time it's a different compile time error and it says abstract method draw in type shape can only be defined by an abstract class. So what this statement means, it means that if you have an abstract method within a class, then the class should also be abstract class. So in that case, I will go ahead and make this class as abstract by adding the keyword here a b s t r a c t. So now you will see all the error is gone. So the conclusion is this 
that there are two ways I have just shown you how to create an abstract class. First of all is a class which might not have any method at all. You just add the keyword abstract in front of the class and the class becomes abstract. That is the first way. The second way is that you create a method like draw and you don't put a body in that method. I have already explained what is meant by body. So if there is no body in the method, then you have to declare that method as abstract method. And if a method is abstract method, then the class also has to be, ma be made as an abstract class. So this is a concept of abstract class in Java. Now, now let's try a few more things around the abstract uh, class shape. So let's say, let's say I have another program here which says uh, class circle extends extends shape okay now we know from the from the concept of inheritance in java that when a class is extending another class whatever is there in this super class which in this case is shape will be inherited in the subclass circle so it means that these two methods which are available in super class shape are also now available in the subclass circle and because of that there is a method called draw which is also part of the subclass circle now if that is the case then then we will have to make this class also abstract right why because it is now having a method called draw which itself is a abstract method so so before we do that let's see what is the compile time error when i when i'm extending a shape class so if I hover my mouse here on the error, the type circle must implement the inherited abstract method shape.draw. So what it is trying to say is that either you either you give a definition of this method draw by overriding it or otherwise I have to make this class abstract. So first of all, let's say I make it abstract A, B, S, T, R, A, C, T and that's it. The error is gone. Right. If you do not want to make the, this class uh, circle as an abstract class, then what you have to do is let me first remove it. Then you have to give implementation of this method, abstract method in the subclass below here. So let me do that. Now you will see that the error is gone. Why? Because I have given implementation of an abstract class in the subclass circle. So the conclusion is that if you have a subclass like circle which extends a class like shape and if shape has an abstract method then it is your responsibility as a developer who is extending an abstract class having an abstract method to give definition or override that particular method. Either you override it or you make the class circle as an abstract class. Now one important point to note here is suppose this method was not there so let me comment it. In that case there was no issue at all. I could simply uh, override the shape. Why? Because now there is no abstract uh, method in the shape, cl shape class. So there is no need to I mean do any overriding of the method right. So that's pretty much about abstract classes. Now uh, let's uh, let me undo the changes again and let's see how we are going to make use of this abstract method called draw. Now uh, understand one more thing here that I'm making the method as public. It is not mandatory but to keep the example simple I have made it public. I'm going to talk about access modifier in my another video but for now I'm just keeping the method as public but you can keep them as default uh, as default access modifier also. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the concept of um, uh, method overriding to access the draw. So I'll say shape s equal to new of circle. Right now, even before I do that, let's say I try to uh, create instance of shape and a little while back I have told you that we cannot create an instance of a class which is abstract equal to new of shape so this we already know that it is not allowed why it is not allowed because we cannot create an instance of a 
abstract class and in this case shape is an abstract class so I will delete this that was just to remind you that we cannot create instance of an abstract class so I'll say shape s equal to new circle and then I'll say s dot draw and it will call a method which is here so let me put something here says out and I'm say I'm going to say I am circle right now if I run this program we know the output is going to be I am circle so let's run this program and see what is the output and I'm getting an output I am circle so that is pretty much about uh, abstract class with respect to coding so let me go back to my one note so we are done with what is an abstract class now let's look at interface so what is an interface so I will again go back uh, here uh, in my Eclipse now now before I actually explain uh, concept of interface uh, with coding let let's understand it theoretically first and then we'll go to the coding part of interface so let me take an example suppose uh, again I'll go back to my one note and let me create a new page here I'll call it draw okay now let's say let's say uh, there are there are few people or there are there are two people and they want to start a manufacturing plant to manufacture maybe remote control so I'll I'll call it remote control okay so what what they have to do is they have to file for a license to set up the manufacturing unit right now when they uh, let's say let's say I am the person or I am the entity or I am the organization who is issuing license uh, so that you can maybe set up a manufacturing unit so let me go to draw tab here let me call it this is so let's say you or uh, you create one of remote as TV remote for example maybe and this is gaming remote uh, gaming remote now when you want to file for uh, a license to create a remote you approach me and I tell you okay it is fine that I'm ready to issue a license to you but you have to take care of two things that the remote that you are going to sell in the market it should have minimum of two functionalities and those two functionalities are basically you, you should be able to Im, uh, implement uh, one is um, power on power on off functionality second is uh, increase slash these decrease volume dcr es volume for example now I as a issuer of a license will say that okay you go ahead and issue uh, you go ahead and uh, uh, set up a manufacturing unit wherein you can create remote but it is mandatory for you to provide these two functionalities which needs to be implemented in the in the remote that you are going to manufacture so basically this is kind of a binding for the person who is trying to build TV remote and gaming remote so basically this is sort of a contract which is uh, which is a remote control which has functionality power on and, and increase decrease volume which has to be fulfilled by the person who is creating TV remote or a developer who is creating a TV remote and who is creating a gaming remote similarly uh, let's try to now understand this concept with the help of uh, in interface programming so I will go ahead and create a new file here and first of all I'll call it interface CONCEPTS okay now let me create first of all uh, this uh, remote control so interfaces are created by the keyword interface I, I'll say INTER FACE interface REMOTE remote control Okay, I'll open it and then I'll close it. So like a class, they also have a opening bracket and a closing bracket. Now, 
what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add two methods here which is power on off and now there are a couple of things that we are going to talk about around this programming but for now let me just complete the basic programming and then we'll come back and look at a lot of concepts with respect to uh, abstract class and interfaces and the differences so let me go ahead back here and I'll create a TV remote for example so I will create a class and I'll call it class TV remote R E M O T E. okay open bracket close bracket now what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement this uh, interface called remote control so I have missed here putting L so I'll put L here now a class extends another class that we know of but if it is an interface you have to use keyword called implements implements remote control so I will choose this remote control now as soon as I say implements remote control it starts to show a, a compile time error saying that type TV remote but must implement the inherited abstract method one is power on and same is for volume increase decrease so why is this compile time error happening let me explain it to you now as you will see in the interface where I have a method called power on this has no body so we have seen a little while back with uh, with the uh, example of abstract class same concept applies here as well that if a method does not have a body then that method is an abstract method so so if you put here a keyword a b s t r a c t or you do not put a abstract keyword here for volume increase decrease any method which is declared in an interface like here in remote control it is always always abstract you put abstract keyword you don't put abstract keyword does not make a difference so the the bottom line is that any method which goes in remote control is always an abstract method I mean uh, you cannot have a method with a body in uh, in an interface we'll talk more of that later but for now just remember that a method in an interface is always an abstract method so in that case if I have to overcome this compile time error what we can do there are two things as I have already explained earlier also first is either make this class as abstract right this is one of the way of eliminating the compile time error or another way is give the definition of both these methods power on and volume increase decrease so I will say public void power on okay and uh, here I'll just say out of for example power on and then I will also say public void sys out of sys out of okay now you can see that my compile time error is gone now one more fact you must have observed that uh, and this does not hold in the case of abstract class it only holds true in the case of an interface is that if you put a public here or you don't put a public here the methods are always public method in an interface what it means that when you are overriding the method in the subclass it is mandatory for you to make the method as public in the subclass as well so what I mean by that is if you remove this it will give you a compile time error so it will talk it will talk or state this following one error that cannot reduce the visibility of inherited method from remote control so by default the methods that are in interface they are always always public so the subclass which is overriding those methods should also make them uh, as public method for the reason as I just explained to you that you cannot reduce the visibility 
of that particular method in a subclass. Now, how do we use this particular interface? Let me create a main here. Okay, now I'll say remote control. So I'll say R1 equal to new of, I can say TV, for example, TV remote. And then I can say R1 dot dot let's say power on okay now if i run this program it will call the method in this particular place here at line number 18 and display power on for me right so so this is pretty much about uh, what goes in inside an interface as far as a method is concerned and how you uh, how you implement that interface and subsequently how you call that particular uh, method in the uh, method in the subclass which is implemented that interface so let me right click and run that again so this is power on and off now uh, let me again go back to my eclipse and apart from creating methods in uh, what you say interface we can also create variables I'll, I'll talk about uh, or instance variable rather I'll talk more of this when I'm looking at the differences between between uh, between an abstract class and interface but for now let me create a variable here so let's say it's a remote control so I'll say string color for example is equals to black so I'm assuming that the re remote which I'm creating is having a black color right now this this uh, this variable color which I have created here is by default final what it means that you cannot later on change the value of color to something else so you cannot say here color c o l o r equal to r e d for example so if you over here it says final field remote control uh, dot color cannot be assigned what it means is that for all the variables that are defined in an interface by default they are final so if you put final here or you do not put final it's all the same thing i mean by default the variables which are created in in an interface they are treated as a final variable so that is one another fact you have to remember so i cannot do this so let me delete that another thing is let's say i go here in the main method and i say sys out of i'll say remote dot color now as you will see i'm simply using the class name dot variable name and why it is possible it is possible because apart from a variable being final it is also static so so the conclusion is that a variable that you create in an interface is by default static as well as final and because it is static variable you can simply use the name of the class and the name of the attribute to access that particular variable so that is pretty much about uh, an abstract class and interface from the coding point of view now let, let us try to also understand the differences between both of them and when we should use either one of them uh, it, this discussion is one of the most important discussion from the point of view of interview as well so let's try to understand uh, the the differences and when and where to use them so I have talked about uh, abstraction, abstract class, interface. Then let's look at difference between abstract class and interface. So let's get started with the difference between abstract class and interfaces. So I'm going to uh, go through this uh, link from general dev and it has nicely explained the differences uh, though it is a theoretical description, but I will explain with an example with to you. I'll also share this uh, URL with you in the comment section in the video. So please feel free to check out this link as well. Now let's go. There are like good amount, good number of differences, 10 of them. So let's start looking at them one by one and I will explain with a supporting example as well. 
so the first one is abstract keyword is used to create an abstract class and it can be used with method so let me just so you will see that it can be created with a class as well as with a method uh, i have already covered that part with you with an example so it can be used here with a class as well as method right whereas so now i'm here whereas interface keyword is used to create interface and it can't be used with a method so like a class we create we also have an interface right this is an interface you cannot go and put an interface keyword here with a method so this is our first difference then the second difference is subclasses use extends keyword to extend an abstract class and they need to provide implementation of all the declared method in abstract class unless the subclass is also abstract class right so this concept also i have covered with you that in the in the abstract class it circle has to extend another class and you also have to provide implementation of abstract method if there are any, any abstract method in the shape right whereas in the case of uh, in the case whereas subclasses use implements keyword to implement interface so that also i have covered with you so interface concept you have to use a keyword implements right apart from that and should provide implementation for all methods declared in interface and that is something i have also covered with you so since both the method here are abstract method it is mandatory for me to provide implementation of both the methods in my subclass which is implementing the interface remote control right so then next difference is abstract class can have methods with implementation whereas interface provide absolute abstraction so so let me now in order to explain this point let me again go back to my one note so so when i was trying to explain this concept of abstraction i said that abstract class is 0 to 100% abstract now what it means let me explain it to you so if you will go back to this abstract concept you will see that this particular class can have abstract method as well as non abstract method so in this case i can call it 50% abstract why because there is only two method and one of them is abstract so it is 50% abstract for example and and in the case of an interface we have the methods both of them are abstract so now let's come back and look at the definition again or the difference again so abstract class can have method with implementation right so this is a method here in my abstract class which is having implementation or body right whereas whereas interface provide absolute abstraction and can't have any method implementation meaning that you cannot use an interface having a method or you cannot create an interface having a method which also has body so that is what this point is trying to explain here point number 3 now abstract class can have constructor but interface can't have constructors so let me show this concept to you so if i go back here in this i can create a constructor now let me create a constructor here and i'll say sys sys out and i'll put here shape now although i cannot create instance of this particular class but i can still create a constructor and this works perfectly fine now when you create instance of this particular so let me first run this program and show to you and then i will explain the concept so here you will see the output as shape so what happens that when you create a uh, instance of circle uh, it will call a default constructor of this class subclass circle and which in turn will call the the shape constructor by using the concept of constructor chaining in java i'll talk more about constructor chaining in one of my other videos but for now it is enough to remember that you can have a constructor within an abstract class right so
so that is point number four but in interface you cannot create a similar constructor then the next is five so let's look at abstract class have all the features of normal class except that we can't instantiate it so since it's an abstract class you cannot create an instance we can use abstract keyword to make a class abstract but interface a completely different type and can have only public static final constant i have already explained this to you that the variables that you declare within an abstract class are final and they are static final and constant they mean the same thing i mean you cannot change the value i have already explained that to you and you can have method declaration without any body within the within that particular uh, interface then the next one is sixth point abstract classes method can have access modifier as public private protected so so you can uh, go ahead and uh, if you will go back here in the what you say shape class you can have this as public private or protected uh, you can change the access modifier of of the uh, of the methods in an abstract class but that is not true for uh, interface you cannot make it uh, what you say um, for example protected protected if you do this it will give compile time error it means that by default by default the method that which you create in an interface are always always going to be public methods right so coming back again here uh, abstract class can, can have access modifiers as public, private, protected, static, but interface methods are implicitly public and abstract. We can't use any other access modifier. So this is true for the abstract class and in the case of an interface, you cannot change the access modifier anything except a public access modifier and an abstract. Now a subclass can extend only one abstract class i mean that's that's a feature of inheritance in java that a class can only extend another single class it cannot extend more than one class whereas it can implement multiple interfaces right then now next point abstract class can extend other class and implement interfaces but interfaces can extend other interfaces so that is also a concept of uh, uh, co java right now we can run an abstract class if it has main method but we can't run an interface because they can't have main method implementation so if you simply go ahead and put main method within an interface you can as well execute that particular class right why because when there is a main method uh, in in uh, in abstract class anyway uh, compiler does not have to uh, create instance of that class right so it can uh, execute if there is a main method within an abstract class and then interfaces are used to define contract for the subclasses so as i had told you earlier with this particular uh, diagram here in the in, in the in my one note so these are the contract which has to be fulfilled by the class which is implementing that particular interface so technically or in the world of java programming we say that interface is a contract which has to be fulfilled by the class which implement that interface so so interfaces are used to define contract for subclasses whereas abstract class can also define contract like it can have an abstract method but it can provide other method implementation for subclass to use so so it means that it can have an abstract method as well as non abstract method so both of them are allowed okay so with that i have explained the difference between an abstract class and interface now let me uh, try to explain the concept as to where we should use uh, abstract class and where we should use interface so so i have yet another link which i have taken uh, from from google or from stack overflow i'll also sh share this link as well in the comment section below the video so this this uh, particular link explains very well how and where we should use uh, abstract class or an interface and this this is directly coming from oracle documentation as you will see this is a link here 
uh, which is uh, coming from documentation the difference or other where we should use it so let's look at this discussion in simple terms i would like to say interface when it should be used to implement a contract by multiple unrelated the keyword unrelated is important uh, unrelated objects and i will explain this to you in some time whereas abstract class to implement the same or different behaviors among multiple related objects so first of all let me explain this part which is an interface i'll explain it from here now when you so so when uh, when you have unrelated objects or maybe uh, instances or unrelated entities in class you should use an interface and how and why let's understand that you expect that unrelated classes would implement your interface for example many unrelated objects can implement serializable so i'm sure that if you people have been using java you must have encountered this particular variable called serialize uh, sorry not variable this particular interface called serializable now it is an interface it is a marker interface marker interface is an interface which does not have any method so completely unrelated objects can pretty much implement this serializable so let's say you have a shape which can implement serializable you have a an animal which can implement serializable so so as you can see that no matter if there is even no relationship between different objects even then you can make use of an interface or rather implement an interface so this this explains the point that there could be unrelated classes and those unrelated unrelated classes might be using the interface or implementing the interface then the point number 2 is you want to specify the behavior of a particular data type but not concerned about who implements its behavior so uh, so this point is very important to understand so let's say uh, i again go back to my one note here now let's say uh, i i create some guidelines here i i like i said in the beginning of this uh, session that i create a guidelines for creating creating uh, 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 let's say or setting up manufacturing unit now i am i as a i as a person who issues license i am creating a guidelines i don't care whether you set up a manufacturing unit or somebody else does or whosoever does it's none of my business i have some guidelines which i want to make sure that anybody who is implementing an interface should comply with those guidelines or fulfill those contract so this is what it is trying to say here in this point number 2 you want to specify the behavior of a particular data type for example when you are creating a tv remote or a gaming remote you are i want you have i want to make sure that you implement these two methods right and either uh, you do it somebody else does it does it it's not something which concerns me but you have to fulfill this contract as long as you want to make use of uh, this interface or you want to set up a manufacturing unit right so you want to specify the behavior of a particular data type but not concerned about who implements its behavior right then you want to take um, advantage of multiple inheritance of type meaning that that a particular class can extend more than one uh, sorry not extend but a particular class can can implement more than one interface so we can make use of multiple inheritance so this is the scenario or this is the situation where we should make use of an interface now let's come to where, why, when we should make use of an abstract class if you want to share code among several closely related classes for example let's say i have uh, i'll go back again in my eclipse here so you will see that uh, let me remove this it will remove the compile time error okay now here i have an abstract concept let's say i have a shape one of them is circle let's say i create one more class class to yara i'll call it triangle triangle extends shape okay now again i will uh, copy and paste it here and i'll say i am triangle here right so now you will see that these two classes circle and triangle are like closely related they are shapes 
so this is some place or this is one place where you should go and make use of this particular uh, abstract class so this is what it is trying to explain with point number one you want to share code among several closely related means they have some kind of a relationship with respect to the the code that you are trying to write right then you expect that classes that extend your abstract class may have many common methods or fields or require access modifier other than public right i mean uh, as i have just explained to you earlier then you can have methods which are not even public or non-public as well like you can have them private you can have them protected and other access modifier so that is another reason or another place where you can make use of an abstract class plus you want to declare non-static and non-final fields I mean if you are making use of interface by default they are static and final I have already explained that to you but in this case you can define a field which is neither static and nor it is final so these are uh, these are directly coming from Oracle documentation and these are real good and genuine reason as to how and where you should make use of an abstract class or an interface right now a little bit more of uh, this discussion so abstract class establish is a relationship and interface establishes a hash a relationship now isa means isa means that triangle is a shape or circle is a shape right that is a isa relationship has a relationship is a concept wherein wherein a tv uh, in in this case tv remote control has features or uh, or the ability to power on or increase decrease volume so it has those features so this is how we make use of isa and hesa uh, uh, concept in the world of java programming i'll talk more about isa and hesa uh, this is which is here isa and has a relation or a capability in one of my other video but for now uh, as you will see that abstract class establishes isa relation whereas interface provides a hash a cap ha has a capability for classes okay so that's all i have to discuss with respect to um, abstract class interfaces so we have covered when to use abstract class and when to use interface so that's all i have to discuss with uh, uh, you guys uh, with respect to abstract class interfaces thank you so much for your time